Hey guys, Cucumber here, and welcome to another video of mine, and this is a Japan vlog, which is a little different from my previous ones, but in this one we're going to be talking about Super Dragon Ball Heroes. So for those who don't know, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes is a game only in Japan. It's a card game slash arcade game. At the end of this video, I'm going to show a little footage of what I got from um, some kids playing Dragon Ball Heroes, and it was cool to see because you know sadly this game is only available in japan um for now and it's basically you know you have different cards with characters on them and you place them down and you battle people with it and it's really cool because they incorporate different characters from dragon ball gt dragon ball z super and different other games so it's like a whole bunch of characters which you will never see interacting together you see them interact in this game and the new anime is coming out so the second episode is coming out soon and that's very exciting so um yeah and basically this game is ridiculously popular in japan like it was everywhere we saw different cards and promos and figurines and i was like whoa super dragon ball heroes galore i love that i love it love it love it i wish i could play the game i just got to see kids play it and i remember um as I was buying some of the cards, because I did go a little crazy on the cards, because they're super cool, and I'm going to show you guys soon. Oh, by the way, you guys like my shirt? Look at my shirt. Master Roshi. It is a popular game, and, you know, exciting that we're going to get American cards, too, so that'll be pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so let me show you guys the different ones that I got. I'm not going to have the chance to show you all of them, because there's so many, but I will show you what I got. So they sell some of them in gachapons, which is the little coin machines. So I'm going to show you two of those that I got. You put in the coin and then slot comes out and then this comes out. So this one I got Goku Black. You can see right there. Really, really cool. Uh, not all of them are like this holographic, but still pretty cool. The other one that I got from the gachapon, Zamasu. So really cool. And then they had a different kind of form of gachapon, which comes out with this slot. And it says Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and you can see some of the characters right there. And then inside, I'm going to show you guys what there is. They have this slot for binders, and I do have to get a binder for all my cards. But really cool right there. And then it comes with two cards. So in this one, I have Trunks. Zeno and Bardock and you can see the back right there So really cool, you know, it was what two dollars I think for this so the cards aren't that expensive. They range from three dollars to five dollars I think the more rare they are the more expensive they come out to be so There was one card that I did spend a lot of money on because I was I really really wanted it and I'll show you guys that soon Okay, so let me show you some of the other cards that I got from the gachapon so I got Vegeta and then the Majin race over here. I got this one over here too. Not really sure who they are, but here we have the fusion of Vegeta and Trunks. So really cool characters. I love that they, you know, incorporate all of these awesome characters into it. So it's really, really cool to see them. So I'm going to show you guys some of the cards that I got, the individual ones. So here we have Trunks Zeno. You can see him right there. I got Time Patrol Trunks. He was in the first episode. We have Kefla over here. Really cool. And Ultra Instinct Goku. I had to get this one. So he was about, I think, $4 or so. Can't really remember. And then here we have Goku Zeno. And then Gine, which, I mean, this is the mom of Goku. Like, where, wherever else are you going to, like, see a merchandise of her? So I had to get this one. And then the one that I really, really was obsessed with when I saw was Kanba or Cumber or the Evil Saiyan. So at that time of my trip, we didn't have a name of him. So when they released that, it's Kanba and Cumber, Cucumber. Uh, yeah, the obsession is on point. So, um, yeah, before we found out his name... I, we were, we had a few promo images, a few promo videos of him, and I really liked his costume design and that whole concept of, um, you know, an evil saying coming 
to the picture was amazing and awesome and I love it. So I had to get his card and here it is. Awesome. And this card cost me a lot of money. But, uh, you know, I had to splurge a little bit. So here he is. And in the back, Evil Saiyan. It's really cool. Let me get him out of the plastic so you guys can see him a little better. So here he is, Kanba. Really awesome. Can't wait for the second episode to come out. So those are the individuals, some of the individuals that I got. I had other ones right here, you can see. Yeah. And then here are some other ones. We got Super Saiyan Bardock over here. Goku GT. Frieza, you can see his halo right there. Cooler. Goten Zeno and Go Tanks Adult. We have Android 21 over here. So yeah, really awesome cards. Um, and I wish I could play, you know, because I feel like I have some good cards. But um, yeah, I got like this other big pack here who has other characters like Krillin, Android 16, and just a whole bunch. But um, I do want to show you guys what else I got while I was over there. And I got a guide. So it says Super Dragon Ball Heroes Guidebook number two. So it just shows you how to play and um, gives you the different stats on cards and also a breakdown on the different races. So you could do Saiyan. Um, you could also be, uh, they have Majin, Frieza, Frieza's clan. Um, my nose is poking up. They have uh, Namekians. So you can see right here, the Majin Boo race. And then they have the different cards that are out. So super cool. Nice cool um, booklet. And then in the back, you can see Gohan. This is Gohonks, which is the fusion of future Gohan and future Trunks. How cool. You can see them right there. And this card came with the, this book came with a card, which is Vegito Zeno. So, really cool. You can see right there. Really awesome. So happy with this. I splurged with Dragon Ball Heroes and everything because I just really like the game and really like what they're doing with it. And I wish, I wish, I wish the anime was longer than eight minutes, but at least we're getting something. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, let me know which one you guys um, like. And do you guys own any? They sell them on eBay a lot and everything. I know it's not the same sort of feeling like seeing the game in person than having the cards. So um, hopefully we do get it in the U.S. some day in the future and yeah so i'm gonna show you guys the clip of a small clip of what i shot of some kids playing and then me getting the gachapon um cards and everything but yeah this is cucumber thank you guys and remember to subscribe and support the channel and follow me on instagram and twitter at cucumber underscore world thank you bye bye <laughs> Dragon Ball Super, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's 200 yen. Okay. Let's see who I got. It's building. You guys, look at what I found the Super Dragon Ball Heroes. I think this is a card. So I'm gonna give it a try.
of the cards I got. Oh, look at that. This is Vegeta and Trunks fusion, I believe. It's so really cool. I'm gonna get another one, I see. Yeah, from a cool game. There's the Saiyan. The insane Saiyan. Right there. 